What's up from 50 States My Way? It's Ashley. It's 5K day here on the Mickelson Trail in Deadwood, South Dakota, state number 16. I get to go first and reach state 16 before Ryan because Ryan will be here tomorrow morning finishing the Deadwood Marathon. Same location, packet pickup was a breeze. It was at race start, we'll showcase that. And we're really excited. We're gonna get bussed out just like the marathoners 3.1 miles and we run into Deadwood. It's known as the fastest 5K because it's gonna be mostly downhill. So we'll see what happens if there's gonna be a PR. Like, subscribe, and comment down below. If you've ever done this race, we're really excited to share it with you. Deadwood, South Dakota, home of the gold rush. 5K packet pickup is day of race about an hour before the race start, there's already a line. Where are we getting our packet? Getting excited. Packet pickup time. Thank you. Yeah. I don't think I got my bib yet. It's getting it for me. There it is, 3055. Thank you. Let's go get ready. Before the 5K is the kids race. The kids are getting ready to run and all the moms and dads and grandmas and grandpas are excited. They're lined up and they're ready to see their kiddos go. There they go. races are always so cute. All right, here are the buses getting ready to get on. They got porta potties. People are excited. Somebody knows he's on camera. <laughs> here we go. We are officially off the buses and on the trail. We're in the canyon. This is going to be amazing. Right off the bat, um, with the exception of, you know, more coverage, it really does feel kind of like Jim Thorpe in that we're on an old railroad trail. Um, it is little pebble gravels, uh, so you know some people might want gaiters or things like that to protect your shoes. And just from doing our tour yesterday in Leeds, I can tell you that um, we're pretty much starting right at the base of Leeds and the um, Homestake Mine because that up there is part of the Homestake Mine. So a 5K from Leed to Deadwood. Here we go. Check out this view. We are waiting for another bus to arrive. So being on the first bus doesn't really necessarily matter because now we have to wait. Should have uh, visited the bathroom one more time. I didn't think I had enough time because I saw the buses, but and I didn't realize they were doing two trips. So that was a good tip to kind of pay attention to is there is more than one trip for the buses. There were three buses and there are a lot of runners today. Between one and four is when we've been getting a lot of rain. It is 1.15. I was worried we were gonna get rain today and it's a sunny, sunny sky. An old-fashioned start with a bullhorn. Is there an actual pad though? All right, we're just starting my watch. There we go. <laughs> no real official race pad. That's okay. Away we go. No, we State number 16, Deadwood, South Dakota.
going along the creek. Just beautiful. Got a nice little wind. And I forgot my headphones at the Airbnb, but there really is hardly any reception down here. So we're just gonna enjoy nature. Nice 5K. Just beautiful. Black Hills. For all of the races, this is an open trail. So just like at Jim Thorpe, expect other bikers, runners, hikers, everybody enjoying the trail system. Ryan wants me to run a bike for tomorrow. We'll see. I might just try to drive out to some of the open trailheads and see if I can catch him. This is kind of a difficult marathon to spectate um, because of it being out on the trail system. Right underneath part of Homestake Mine. Nice little downhill. Hopefully a lot of the courses like this. It's supposed to be. We'll see. Oh. Here's some proof that this used to be an old railroad line. Railroad crossing. Wow. Look at that. I have no idea how accurate this is, but my watch just went off for the first mile under a 14 minute pace. Whew. We're cruising, but uh, yeah, there's no real mile markers. So I have no idea if uh, that was one mile or not. We're gonna go with it. At 1.7, the building behind me, Ryan and I figured out last night that there are bathrooms in there. So it doesn't look like there's any water stops. So carry a handheld because it is hot. Um, I ran in real fast and um, made my cooling towel wet. For also wayfinding, right back there, that white building, is Chubby Chipmunks. Epic location for some yummy treats. Post-race or pre-race. Delicious. We are officially in Deadwood. My watch is showing 1.86. Every day there was rain. <laughs> Be careful what you wish for. I said I didn't want rain and it didn't rain. <laughs> but boy, oh boy, would I like a little sprinkle right now. husband <laughs> beautiful wife, <laughs> <Spectating> husband. <laughs> beautiful wife. <laughs> you can actually see some of the old pieces of the rail track on the trail under the gravel Ryan's uh, cheating and taking a picture of that instead of me <laughs> Again, more of the old rail lines. I am at 2.93 according to my watch. And I do believe that I see a finish I'm getting pretty close. Whew. I'm 
50 states my way. That sign says Deadwood, which means that the finish is right behind it. Let it go, Ashley! Oh, I forgot to stop my watch. <laughs> so I have no idea what my official time is. It was definitely under 45 minutes. I got my medal. Whew, it's hot here. And my Ohio lungs struggled to catch my breath a couple times in that canyon. Great race. All right, let's go get some water. It doesn't look like my results are up yet, but this is literally like old school, old fashioned results, um, which is really unique. I've never done a race like that before where you don't have a timing mat when you start. And um, so I didn't know when to start my watch. <laughs> and then I forgot to stop my watch. So hella hot mess, run 50 states my way. From three to eight, we made it to the rooftop of the Celebrity Hotel where the after party for the 5K is being held. There are three different samples of local beer from Sturgis Brewing, a purple grain ale, which is a mixed berry blonde, the Black Hills Blonde Ale, and a red cut red amber ale. We know I can't really drink beer, so great that it's itty bitty little tastes. So I'm gonna take a sip of each and then let Ryan finish them. There's also snacks. This is a really cool place to hang out. For beer drinkers, you can also get some Bush Light on tap. That was a great 5K. A um, Couple things to think about. Um, I've already mentioned it in the video. There was no water stop, but you do pass by at like the two mile mark a bathroom so if you need a bathroom it's a public bathroom on the trail um, and they have a drinking fountain inside where i got my towel my cooling towel wet at the finish line it's old school just some uh, water and a couple bananas and that's about it but still a really great race small town deadwood south dakota was awesome with that tomorrow ryan's gonna kick butt on this marathon it was a beautiful course I can't imagine what 26 miles is going to look like when um, three was just absolutely amazing. So like, subscribe, and comment down below. We're off to downtown Deadwood to explore and find some amazing things.